end of the season here out at the old uh, Green Acres Country Club. So earlier in the year we made that uh, magnificent Cobra Cutter video where we sliced the ball almost 200 yards to the right while still hitting it 300 yards long. It was unbelievable. We had red balls and kind of pink red balls. And today we have pink balls and orange balls and yellow or green. This one. And reddish. Red. So, let's see which one can perform the best end of season cleanup. Hundred and fifty yards right, three hundred yards straight, unbelievable golf. Here we go. Oh, cool. So, might have been the best one of the year. I don't know if you could watch that little thing. <coughs> At the top there, over that tree, you see that you see that big, wide, fluffy-looking tree. Okay, it's green. The red ball just right up over it, and just like, and once it got to the top of the tree, snapped to the right, even like with more velocity. I mean, that was the first one. Rip the head right off the tee. These are supposed to be those big cup unbreakable green tees that you buy on eBay for, for five bucks for like a hundred. Unbreakable plastic cup, cup green tee. Unbreakable, I mean, class action lawsuits have been known to be very effective. Take the old pinky dink. Pinky dink, slicer ring. We just want to copy exactly that last one, except for I don't know where it went, but it's probably. I don't know. I don't know about that one. I mean, it's kind of right here. Felt high. It went right. It's going to be up there by the red one. So keep an eye out for Pinky Dink. And then, you get this orange ball with black writing on it. It says Callaway Super Sock. These are some 3A balls that I bought on eBay. And because they're the matte finish and they're 3A, you won't even know if you're not used to matte balls. So, great mind game for cheap. Hashtag God Pound. All right. Slicer. Slicer, slicer. Not going to go over there. Where? Colossus, Colossus up on the deck. Oh, oh yeah. So, I think we got three good ones out there. I think the pink one did what that one did. It was just a little more right than the red one. That's all it was. I didn't catch it. My, my eyes, they used to be 20-20, and then they weren't 20-20, but I went to the eye doctor, and he said they were 20-20. So then they were 20-20 again, and then I waited like five, seven, 17 years, and then I, I, used, I, I went again, and now I have bad vision. So the pink one's probably the best. Pink it in. Green yellow ball. Green, ooh, green yellow ball. Ooh, yeah. All right. All right, slicer, slicer, one nine, one nine. JK seventeen, sir. Oh, I hit it straight. So you probably saw that one because it's green and yellow, two different colors. So that ball's easy to see. It went dead straight. That big pine tree out there. You know, it either went over the top of it or it hit it in the middle and just fell down. So we'll go find out. But okay, I didn't break that unbreakable tee. Hmm. 
get nicked. They never said they didn't get nicked, so they get nicked. Okay. All right, let's go find out which one of those is the best. All right, we're leaving the tea box here. Number six, the green A. Okay, we hit, you know, really a bunch of bombs out there. Some of them could have sliced 300 yards. It's hard, it's hard to know when you don't see them. But that green, the green one went straight up. But the orange one and the red one that was first. I mean, they sliced 250 yards each. All right, let's take a look. Okay, here we go. It's that red one. Here's the first one. Right out in the middle. Of the fairway. And I lost my friend finder. How convenient. Well, I, I mean, I guess we can drive. Oh, there's here's the orange one up here somewhere. Where are you? Orange one. Red one. Okay, so that red one was better because, wow, that orange one didn't slice enough. You see that? Look at that. I mean, what do you want me to do? The tee box is back there. I mean, that orange one went so far right. Maybe it nicked a branch and got a little side spin the other way. That's kind of, uh, that's got to be. All right, what do we got? We got uh, Pinky Dink. Pinky Dink did not see Pinky Dink anywhere. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, there's yellow. Yellow, the bomb straight. Must have flew. Must have flew the tree. You see that? Where's it? There it is. Hi, ball. Green, yellow ball. All right, pinky. Pinky, pinky, pinky. Pinky, pinky, pinky. Pinky, pink, pinky, pink. Pinky, pink, 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 pink. Hmm. I mean, pinks either going to be the best of all time, or maybe not the worst of all time. I mean, I've had really good shots, so not the worst of all time. I take that bad, subtract it from the movie. I might edit it and still leave it in here, but it's still redacted. But the pink ball is lost. And I'm going back like I have the worst shot. It's one of a bad shot. Oh, oh. So it wasn't a bad shot, but it hit a tree. And now I'm in prison. Okay, well, okay, the green's over here. I got this tree here. Okay. All right. So lucky enough, I really know my way around this course, and I remember where I hit my last shot that I used the rangefinder on, which was over here. So this over here, okay, over here, and it's red and blue like America. Okay. Okay. Well, this I was like, I hit a tree. A tree. Oh. Oh, what's this? I found another ball. This is a different ball of my, oh, not even my ball. It's just another colorful red ball. Wow, talk about the jackpot on a rainy day. Okay, well, actually, we still gotta find the range finder. Gotta find the range finder, but I mean, jackpot is part two or something, or part A. Okay, so then we went this way. Oh no. Oh no. This is where I lose a ball every time. They're impossible. I hope I didn't lose it in there. Oh, 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 I'm gonna know where it is. I know where it is. I know where it is. I just have an idea and I'm pretty sure I Oh I see it, it's hanging. It's right. Would you look at that? It's where I was filming the cobra cutters from. Oh, it got, it got wrangled up in the old branch. You know, 365 out on the hole in the branch. All right, well, we'll go hit that pink ball first. Oh, there's, get over here. Hey there, hey there. Hello. Well, there's two deer. 
Yeah, it's a nice day out here on the golf course, huh? All right, bye. Pink ball. Pink ball, everybody. Right. The pink ball came in up over these trees. Well, we didn't see it, but it, but it must have, because it felt like that, and that's where it ended up. And then, these trees, these are, these are ancient trees. The Cherokee left these. So, oh, okay, oh yeah, yeah, there it is, right in here. And now that we have the rangefinder, we can just see where, however far away we are. Oh, that's like, is, is a five wood hook? Five wood hook. I got a five wood hook, but it's wet. Five wood hook, five wood hook, five wood hook. All right, we're five wood hooking, okay? From the pink ball. Let's do it. A little left, definitely a five wood thing on the old hook around 222. 222. That's an interesting yardage, I must admit. All right, so 222. Oh, it didn't hear anything. I didn't hear anything. It didn't hit anything. It didn't hear anything. Lost the heel. But it had quite a bit of feel, baby. All right, so we're just getting back up here to the uh, the red ball, the orange ball, and then we got to go back to the green one. See, I, I work right to left because that's a natural direction for everything. So I go right to left. And then, yep, it all makes sense. So, uh, with no further ado, ooh, I'm gonna hit this one. Is the red one? First, I gotta, gotta get the position. That's not position. It's not position. Wrong position. Wrong position. 183, oh. oh, 183. So, since the last video, I got this cobra head on here. Right here, I bought just the head. And then I bought this other piece that's now all scratched because I had to keep trying it so many times because I kept screwing up, but it still works. But I got the head for like 10 bucks online and then this was a dollar. And then this was like an old chap that cut it down to 39 inches. It's a perfect 200 yard club. We're gonna choke up and or not choke up and just give it a try. You go for the 185. Alright, let's get a double eagle here. So the last time we were really disappointed with a six iron. Oh, oh, get a kick. Get a kick. Probably too much, and it, it was a draw. So I don't think that'll work, but but I'm gonna have to do something about this next shot yeah, nice up here. So we're going up to the orange ball. I don't really like where it ended up. See where it ended up? Well, it ended up by these rakes. So that's like a man. These rakes. I mean, I don't know if I can hit a golf ball. When there's more than one, it's too, it's such an oddity. I can't even, it's too distracting and it's man-made. So, we're 185. All right, we're gonna hit the same club, but we're gotta get away from these man-made objects. Race. Okay, hopefully you can still see me. No, 185, oh, it's too much club, but I'm, I'm gonna go 10 finger, five on this hand, five on this hand. No interlock, no overlap. I mean, you choke up a little bit. It's a 39 inch club. You gotta hit it 71%. So, all of the steps that I said before the last one, I did. But 
I didn't get the 71, I got just 17. And it was a, it kinda ended up being a duff, but maybe that's cause I'm probably gonna make the next one. Which, this isn't the next one. This is just the farthest left. It's like reading a book, you know? Mm, this one's silly looking. Yeah, 242. 242, I don't mind if I do. All right, we'll give five wood another chance here. Five wood is the out of the, out of the hole club, maybe we should call it when we're on the wrong hole. But sometimes I just use driver off the deck, but not always. However, given, if I duff this one, maybe. So it rained either today or yesterday, and it's so wet. It's been a wet summer, so the ground's wet. So sometimes that happens. But I need—I mean, I think I'm gonna cut. I'm gonna cut that one out of the video. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I was just talking to my help, my little helper here. His name is uh, Baldy. He's Brian Baldinger's son, the American Eagle. So, I mean, he was with Sterling Sharp on that NFL Network show for so long, too. So good. So, this is Baldy. Oh, almost drove into a bunker. Oh, look at the duffs. The duffs all congregated. That's... Bad. Well, this drives were great. The drives were great, but I mean, I'm out. Of, I have. I didn't make a double eagle. So, and I mean, this far. I got how far? Okay, I got this far. This far, and this far, this far, and this far. Okay, far eagle. But I got a pink one up there and a red one up there for eagle as well. So. Let's see which birdie wants to fly with Baldy today. I think I want the green and yellow ball, because I like the Packers. All right, folks. I mean, that, that, that's going to work, right? I'm just going to have to trust it. Oh, the yardage changed. The yardage changed. Oh, even one more. Okay, it's 87. Not 90. I wonder if I wonder if that one changed. Oh. Yikes. Talk about a rough day. Talk about a rough day. All right, let's knock this, let's knock this baby in there, huh? 87. Go in. It's a little left, pin high. Ooh, not quite pin high. All right, we're going 10 fingers. 10 fingers. It's fingers. Okay, go in, go in, drop in the hole. It didn't drop in the hole. It really wasn't that close, but it was well struck. And it was still good. So, Mr. Eagle, wow, he doesn't want to mate with any of those two balls. Pinky Dink. This is Pinky Dinkin' too from the, the woods there. I mean, it turned out to be the best one. 
if the red one is worse, then it might be. Because it was, it was going a little left, and now it's in the leaves. These leaves, like, even though they're not red, they're kind of red. And, I mean, it is camouflage. You hear me? Oh, here it is. So, good. Leaf spray. Leaf spray does work. the duff drive but if I make an eagle maybe I'll cut the rest of this rest of this footage and just celebrate with fireworks like American Patriots supposed to huh <laughs> all right well why not waste the best opportunity you know using a five a 58 degree. Why would you do that? Why would you waste an eagle chip with a wedge? So, if you've ever played like a game like bocce ball or even pool, like that orange ball there is not in my way. Wow, I mean the touch is great. The touch is great. If you, I mean, it's probably an inch past the hole. It's a little right, you know, kind of, you know. I have a hybrid I could have used, but I could jump over some of this. But I mean, that grass, if you looked at the grain here. So. But hey, you know, I mean, that's why you don't use a wedge. I mean, how much of a lame brain to use a wedge when you're golfing from that far for eagle when you got an eagle on the head cover of the club you want to use? I mean, what? I don't like that. Oh, it's okay, I got a chip left. Fantastic. You know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to use the five wood on this one. It's not always the five wood. It's not always seven iron. It's not always a nine iron. It's usually a, a gap wedge or a five wood. Can even be a cross, ooh, cross handed. Cross handed hybrid is good. Okay. All right. I, I haven't shown you guys cross handed hybrid. I got, I got, I got to, I got to show you. This is one for the cross handed hybrid. This works. The problem with with the hybrid versus the uh, five wood is sometimes the, it seems like the trajectory of the of the bump, I guess, is uh, inconsistent. Maybe so it really can affect the speed. Or the five wood, you know, stays pretty much consistent. But yeah, this is the this is what we call a cross hand hybrid. We can aim right at the hole with cross hands, and then. Go on, go on. Yeah, sometimes the problem is you don't have good feel. I mean, it was right at the hole, but the feel can be tough. It was downhill. It was a fine enough one for it. I probably would have shanked a, shanked a wedge into the water. So, I mean, and if we do auto two putt, no matter what, sometimes auto one putt if we make it, then we're all good. And always be a steward of your local golf course, or a stewardess, or a non-binary stew, but you don't eat it. We're a steward, so not only is that being a steward, that's giving 
you know, stuff to the good karma to the universe. So sometimes when I do that, then I cross him putt. And when I cross him putt, sometimes I go on fire with it. Like there. Oh, but it just rained. Yeah, the problem with the cross hand putting is the speed is just, it's a tough one to dodge. <clears throat> All right, no more cross handed putting, but maybe we'll do driving it. It's a normal putt that I misread and didn't hit to the hole. There's the putt that just didn't go in. And it goes right. So here, here's the birdie putt. And I'm gonna cross hand it. No. Nope. Nope. Yep. 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 Should have went in. Best putt. Hmm. Well. I think I got four parts. All right, everybody. Thanks for watching season one finale, episode two. Episode one was the pilot. The wrong way. Facing the wrong way. Episode one was the pilot. Episode two was the season finale. Oh man. Next year. Oh. Oh. Oh, who knows what six months is going to bring, huh?